Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Um, Hello? Hi. Yes. Yeah, we just. I move that we accept the uh, minute, minute meetings. It looks like. Yeah, thank you. Do I have a second? I second that. All in favor, need a roll call. Keith? Yes. Me, yes. Adelia? Yes. John? Yes. Don and John both. <laughs> Don and John both. Ashley? Lisa? <laughs> yes. And I don't know if Fred can hear me. You mouth, yes. Okay, because I've muted I've muted him because <clears throat> I assume he's on with somebody who's having a hard time getting in. He's the tech support for the committee. Okay, so June minutes are approved, and this is a reminder to me that I should be sending these minutes to Amy to post. Uh, cake unveiling. So Keith, what's the status of the cake? I drove by and I saw that there's a topper. I was yep. Every every the pieces are coming together. Um, you can thank John for doing the legwork on getting the cake topper down to Northampton, down to um, Pacific Printing. And so the topper has been completed. We have all the other center decals that go on the round circular things that have our 250 logo plus our incorporation date and our celebration date of 2021. So nice. the hopefully this week we'll finish up the electrical work and bring the electrical power over to the to it at which point in time it's pretty much complete um, as far as doing anything as a celebration um, I've tried to um, coordinate a ice cream truck um, they're not that easy to find out there maple um, maple um, yeah maple valley from Hadley has one, however, due to the uh, pandemic, it's Keith, been off. It, Keith yes. if I can interrupt, uh, I actually put Teresa Belial on that, and Pachesnik's will underwrite the ice, will handle the ice cream. Okay, will they? Um, they'll provide it, or I believe I certainly they will provide it. I don't know what the detail. We have to work out the details, okay. but I think that they will serve as well. All right, because um, we were trying to find a, a truck that would be, you know, a mobile truck to come in. No, but if Pachesnik's um, will okay. uh, contribute it, that All right, I mean, I'll, I'll need to, you know, find out a little bit more from, from them. Did they, who did they talk to, do you know? Who did Teresa talk to? I, I don't know who she talked to exactly, but uh, okay. I can probably check my email and see exactly okay i mean the the bottom line is that if we can get something like that in line then the next thing we need to do is you know plan plan a date um yeah. they, they've that, asked that's, what, that's what they needed to, yep to go ahead and that's what i was sort of hoping that we could come out of you know get that accomplished tonight and have a yep. date a date set for exactly. the unveiling and my intent my plan is that um, I'll have underground supply back in there with their um, crane truck to set the topper on and make that the final um, piece of the of the cake and have a the social event all at the, all at the same time. Fantastic. Originally, we had talked about coordinating it with unveiling of the quilt, but it turns out the quilt's not going to be done until September, and I don't know that we want to wait till then. So we can do the quilt along with, you know, at, at some other point. We should just do when we think we're ready and we think it's a good date. Do you have a date in mind, Keith? I, I don't at the moment, other than, you know, here we are um, pushing the middle of July. I would like it to be probably, in my mind, the first part of August. We want to have at least a few weeks to do a little bit of publicity to um, to get the word out so people can make arrangements, make plans to be there. So I don't want to spring it on them at the last minute. And mm -hmm. at the same point in time, I don't want to wait till September. So um, it's, it's as, you know, that's my opinion.
Uh, I just checked my email. Teresa's contact was Mary Pachesnik Bovino. Okay. And they said they, all that uh, Teresa indicated was they would provide ice cream, spoons, and dishes. I don't, it didn't say anything about serving. Okay. So the, were they willing, so they're willing to provide it? Do we need at their expense or are we looking at? I think they're willing, to, let me double check the wording again, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, we had estimated a, a hundred people. Donate. Yeah. She said they will donate. But and that, but that's for a hundred people, as I recall. Right. That, that it wasn't open ended. Well, so don't a hundred was the ask. We had to give some number. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, they'll they'll be. We have to get back to them and negotiate and figure everything out. Okay. But at least we'll get the product for a hundred people donated. Okay. That's a fair yeah. number, I think. That's a, I, I agree. I think that's a good number to shoot for. And we can, you know, promote it as, you know, for the first hundred people, so that if we get more people, the understanding is either they pay or there's not enough ice well, cream after Or we, we, could, we have some money we can also pay for people over a hundred. If I'd be willing to underwrite some of that too. Yeah, I think I, we can underwrite that. I, okay. I don't want to have to make it for first come, first serve, because then we'll okay. just get a zoo. Yeah. Just a quick question. Um, how did we serve the ice cream when we did it out of the milk bottle? Did we have a freezer there? No, it was done out of coolers. So if worse came to worse, if they just provide the ice cream, we could probably do that again, right? Well, that would be up to that. We're, so they're not providing any serving, Fred? Uh, not that I know, not that Teresa indicated, but I don't think she even got that deep into it. It was just sort of an ask, you know, if we have an event, will you provide the ice cream without getting into all the details of servers or whatever? I, so we can, we can go back and ask them. Yeah, I don't know if it was discussed or not. Yeah. Well, I think we, sh when we, uh, if we need to vote on that, we should agree now to uh, just do a, an email vote. Just you, one person mail out to each person and they can email back yes or no. That way we don't have to wait until the next meeting to negotiate. What's the vote? The vote, vote well, to I, I think for details like this, we can just designate someone to do the negotiations. It's okay. You know, well, once we have a date and say, okay, yeah. we're going to have an event, we're going to have donated ice cream from Pachesnik's and Keith or I or Teresa, or someone will negotiate the details. Keith, are you looking at a, like a Friday night or something or? A... I'm, I'm open. Friday I night. mean, I'm not saying I have any specific date. I'm just saying in my own mind, it should be the, the beginning portion of August. That's about all I have. Some night it's not raining, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very few these days. You might, you might be in trouble. I mean, we could certainly set it. It's in my mind, we could certainly pick a date and then also offer a rain date of like the next night. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of a Friday night. I think that's you know, it's a nice way to kick off the weekend. I have a quick question. I don't know if anyone has considered um, seeing if the band at um the high school might be able to play usually in august they've started like practicing for marching season oh we can see if milk bottle wants to play i'm just thinking especially for a friday evening to make it more of an event that could be a nice draw I mean, would the school band be going early August or do they come in later in the month? It's only I a phone call. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I only know from my own band experience, um, which was not at this high school. So I can't <laughs> that. I, we, I mean, we can certainly try to find out if there's anybody at the school to answer that question at this point. But I don't want to hold it up for that. I like the idea. Again, I also like the idea of milk bottle. Milk bottle is always fun. 
Um, I'm, I'm basically picturing this as similar to what would happen uh, with the historical society when they did the ice cream socials. Well, if we're going to do Friday nights, um, it's in the beginning of August, it's either the 6th or the 13th, and probably a lot of people don't want the 13th, but um, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't bother me, but I'm... Wouldn't take, take me away year. from ice cream. I mean, I kind of like the idea of the 6th versus the 13th, because people often go away middle of August, you know, before school starts. Um, so by the 13th, people may be going away that I think we're more likely to have people around town. Your kids are still in camp if the camp is a thing this year. Um, the sixth, oops, there's Brenda. Well, the 13th would be the fallback date rather than the... Unless we were to do it either Saturday. like the sixth or the seventh if it's raining on the sixth. Yeah, e either way. Why don't we just say we'll do the sixth with a rain date of the thirteenth? Okay. I don't think there's any date. There's no. I don't think there's any magic formula here. And then I don't think that's any concern. That will be any issue with the um, Pashashniks holding the ice cream for an extra week. I'm assuming. That it, you know, if they have freezers, if as long as it's okay with them to have it the 6th or the 13th. Yeah. Okay, I, so let's vote on it as the 6th or the 13th with the qualifier that if Pachez, if that's an issue for Pachesnik's, the rain date becomes the 7th rather than the 13th. We sort of leave, leave that up to them because we're at their mercy and they're doing us the favor. So moved. Second. Okay. Aye. Keith. Oh. <laughs> Keith. Yes. Me, yes. John. Yes. Adelia. Yes. Fred. Yes. Don. Yes. Ashley. Yes. Lisa. Yes. Chip. Sure. Brenda, if you know what you came in on. This is for having an ice cream social to unveil the um, cake sponsored by Pachesnik's. Uh, we're not, Brenda, we're not hearing you. I'm not sure. Okay, we may have to put Brenda down as a no vote because you just connected. Yeah. Can you hear I, us? I check the email again. Yeah, I do. Pachesnik's needs a week not week's notice to have to order the ice cream. So there we'll have plenty of time to Okay. Uh, so who who is gonna talk to Pachesnik's? I will talk to Teresa and either I will talk with her or she will talk to them. Okay. And Will, will anyone um, approach either the school for the band or Milk Bottle? I'll talk to Nicholas I about Milk Bottle. Okay. And then I'll what, go to the, I'm sorry, Brenda? I'll go to the, I'll go to the school about the band. Great. Okay. And let's let's see what both say. What time do we want to do it on the sixth? It's seven o'clock. Does that get us past dinner, but before bedtime? I would go a little bit earlier if you want people with kids. I'd say okay. six, six thirty. Six thirty, then let's. Okay. Yeah, I think six. I think six would be too early to run. In, you run into dinner from a lot of people. Six thirty work. Good. Okay, so six thirty on the sixth. Rain date, the 13th is our first choice. The 7th is our second choice. Fred is going to Pachesnik's. Don is talking to Nicholas. Brenda is going to see if the school band is around as an option. And once it's confirmed, I guess, with um, Pachesnik's, let me know and I will get it posted um, and invitations out on social media. I, I think as far as I'm concerned, Pachesnik's is confirmed. They were just waiting for us to get back to them with a date. 
Yeah, but we, we should just you know, make double check that with them. But Ashley, if you want to start crafting language for that, and as we get a little bit closer, I guess it's now Amy to do a, a town-wide call, um, letting people know this is happening. You can also put it on the community calendar. Yep, yep. I can create a flyer and um, have that posted on the, the, the town website as well. If we also have a physical flyer to post at Pachesnik's, yeah, sponsored oh, yeah. by big letters, sponsored by Pachesnik's, because you know a lot of people go through there this time of year. Is that doable? We do that though. We'd yeah. say by five J instead okay. of Pachesnik. Okay, that's a good idea. Yes, I can put something like that together. Okay, yeah, if you can. Actually, if you don't mind circulating into this group, particularly Don, because Don knows how the hell they like to be referred to. All right. Because I hear them referred to as Pachesniks, as 5J, as Creamy. I'm not sure what their official. And actually, Fred, maybe that's a question to ask them is we want to promote them as the sponsor. How do they want their name to appear? Fine. I think that's probably the best bet. Okay, excellent. Anything else on that topic? Uh, one, one more thing. Can, can we um, start, just stuff the uh, Waitley mailboxes at the help post office? Um, I don't think it's legal. No. If, if, yeah. we, if, we, if we pay three cents a, a box, I think they'll do it. So whatever the box is. Absolutely. Well, whatever, it's not very much. But I mean, there's only like 250, 300 boxes, if that's a... No, it's a question of legality with the post office. That the post Unless office boxes, post including individuals, belong to the post office. And they're not... So it have to have... Well, I get ads every every week that I never asked for. Well, that... We, we can ask the question at the okay. post office of what is the rate to, to put them in the mailbox. Yeah, because... I think it would have to have regular postage on it. We can we can we can ask that. Um, Fred, do you mind taking that as an action item because you go I into the post that. office yep. frequently? Awesome. Okay. Anything else on the ice cream social? Um. Okay, I sent around the calendar as we had discussed it. Obviously, we're not going to every month talk about every event. The two I want to make sure we get to today, unless people have updates on others, are um, the parade and, oh, John, the dance. So both of these are to you, John. Really? Okay. Um <laughs> when you're talking about the dates on that, I believe the fireworks and the barbecue were scheduled for Friday night. That would be the 24th, I think. Do I have it wrong on here? I think so. Oh, yeah. Why do I have the fireworks on Thursday? No, the fireworks were going to be... Hold on. Yeah. I mean, any Anything is possible with... Oh, I know. I do want, I want to make sure that we have this right. Calendar of events, the original calendar we had, da, 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 da. the fireworks, the barbecue on Friday. Yes, those should be updated to Friday. Okay, good catch. Which, which is not the 23rd, it's, that would be the 24th, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I will update that. Um, okay. Yeah, that was just my transcribing it wrong. That's all right. Um, now, what do you want me to talk about? Um, I you forgot. were going to do some recruiting for the parade. I sent, I forwarded you an email from some band. I had no idea what it was. I just sent you it did? to you. Yeah. Can you yeah. send it again? Yeah. Sometime? Yeah. Um, and I, I appreciate that, Susan. And I would ask anybody that if they know of a marching band that's willing to come to Waitley, let me know because I have heard nothing from anybody other than the Shriners. 
I've sent numerous emails out and they don't, I, I sat one night and searched all over New England, you know, and it's like, uh, I'm not getting any answers. So that's bizarre. Uh, I guess that's the way it is. You know, I, I don't know the answer. Maybe they're, I don't know. I don't know. I um, maybe they're different at you. the moment because of COVID. Because of what? COVID. Yeah, not knowing how the school is going to open for next year, for one thing. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, just, haven't, I haven't heard anything back, but I'm still working. Yeah, on and it. I would just say resend them all. Just say, you know, stick an apology line at the top. You know, sorry, you may not have, you know, may have gotten caught in a spam filter. So I'm taking the liberty of resending. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I just um, for, re forwarded you the one from the Great American Band that had emailed us. That came from you? I got that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did, okay. okay. Yeah, I it, it would say from the Waitley 250. It doesn't have my name on it because it yep. goes to that account. I guess I didn't read the whole thing. I was just like looking at highlights or something. Yeah, that's fine. Um, um, I don't know what else. Okay. Oh, I, if you don't, if, if there is nothing to update, that's fine. I just wanted okay. to. Okay. Um, sure. I, I, we did. Re, we. I don't know whether we shamed the police uh, association into having a, a dance, or whether we uh, asked them and they said yes, or how that actually came about. But um, it went over to Eddie Zaneski. I guess he goes to quite a few. He travels all over to go to polka festivals all over the place, and they came back and they said the police association is willing to put on a. Uh, Polka night or a oh, dance night or however the case may be. And we threw it out there that the tents are going to be set up at the fire station for the barbecue and everything. And so my thought is we just set up the, the big tent at the fire station and we put extra tents on the side. We can serve beer out of the out of the high tunnel. Everything will be there from for the celebration. 50 years ago, the, the tent was set up at the police at the highway garage. And but times have changed as a you know, the way it is, and it seems like a less used parking lot to use. So um, there we go. And I think that that should be a, this, a Saturday night, like the nineteenth. I think I wrote down. The eighteenth is eighteenth. Oh, eighteenth. I'm sorry. Um, and then we will work with the police, the policemen's association, and. Have a blast. Yeah, just let let make sure they ask us what they need from us. You know, if they need, you know, money or publicity, whatever they need. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell them Fred's got a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we actually have an update on that when we get through the events. So, okay, that's, a, that's awesome. If they will take ownership of that. We will book that, add that to the schedule for Saturday the 18th. Right now, what we have for the 18th is the tractor parade, the steam engine show, and then so we'll add the dance. My my thought on even even on the polka dance is that it, it, it's a money maker. It, it should not cost anything, but you may have to pay the bands up front. Okay. And may, you may that. have to buy the buy the beer, you know. And I I would assume that we'll get one. Probably won't get a blanket uh, liquor license for the week but with specific dates for them. Mm -hmm. As if our selectmen will sign that. I don't know. I, I, assume, that's, <laughs> I assume that's who still signs our liquor licenses. I, with, with two of us here, we're not allowed to uh, discuss I didn't ask you to talk business. about it, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, can you somehow indicate, is that something that the select board does? Whoops. Or do we go to some other body to get a liquor license? Uh, I think you start with Brian. Uh, and I think the select board is the local authority that does sign off on all the liquor licenses. So without considering it deliberation, I'm just giving you informational yep. information. That's all we're asking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so ultimately, it would come to the select board. But uh, best go through Brian, because he'll give you all the details of what's expected, and what's needed. And, insurance if that's needed and that sort of stuff. Yeah, Brian has nothing else to do anyway, so we'll give him something else. Right, and he's on <laughs> vacation this week, so you, you yeah. won't get your answer for a while. 
that's okay. I don't think this is something that we have to resolve imminently. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Any other event comments aside from that I've got the wrong dates for the barbecue and fireworks? <laughs> Any other comments, updates on anything on this list? I do. Yeah, go for it. So in the arts and crafts show, um, Chip and I met and talked about the agenda and what we want to achieve that day. And I am working with um, Mary Lee Clock, who owns the Day Lily, about possibly sponsoring the arts and crafts show. Ooh, very her family nice. owns the Whateley, they own the Waitley Inn as well, so they could possibly help us with catering for appetizers and hors d'oeuvres for that evening. So I'm not sure what the sponsorship will look like right now, but um, plus she also has a few artists from Waitley that sell in her shop, so it's a really good connection. So well done. So working on that. Great. Lisa, hey, Lisa. Did, Lisa did you reach out to Gabe Cooney? I have, so I just put together a whole agenda and a list of all the artists everybody has sent me. And I'm actually this week gonna send an email introduction out to everyone and let them know. Cause we were kind of not sure when this was all gonna happen. Now that we have a date and everything happening, I'm gonna reach out to everybody. So yes, thank you. Everybody who sent me something, they're in my document. I was gonna ask you, Lisa, do you want me to post any kind of call for any other- Right, so I'm gonna also create a flyer asking for artists and so when I do I will send it to you and yes absolutely um I'm thinking the probably the best time to really start a lot of this is September yeah. you know I feel like August people are kind of just winding down their summer getting ready for the fall um in the fall I'll reach out to the school I want to reach out to the elementary school and find some kind of collaboration with the art teacher there um so I, I, I'll spend like August getting all this stuff organized and then September will really start really heading it hard, getting more people involved. So that's mm -hmm. kind of my plan on that. How many people do we have, Lisa? We have 12, including you and I yeah. <laughs> and Keith. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with it all. I'm pretty positive about it. I think it should turn out to be a very nice event. Yeah, that sounds great. Good, okay. I have a question on the fireman's muster. At what point do we talk to other communities to see who wants to participate? Oh, um, actually I talked to my captain the other day and he's actually gonna run it, but be between us, we'll get it done. Um, the other, uh, this winter sometime. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I was, we, need, we just need to know that the Hurley Heat Field is open that day. We need the parking lot at Hurley. Okay. Um, is that another Brian or who who is responsible? We probably want to see if we can just book Hurley Heath for that week. That there will yeah, be enough that's, stuff. That'd be tough on. because they play a lot of ball games down there. So I don't know. Who manages I, that schedule? Keith, I know you want to say the answer to that. I thought maybe Joyce is going to chime oh, in. It should I be was fun. trying to, yeah. <laughs> you want to I take that, Joyce? I think it's the rec commission is the people to call on that. Yeah, because if we can... I, I call them now. I mean, get, I get it a year in advance. I mean, and, and maybe if we really only need it for the two weekends, then mm -hmm. just ask yeah. them for the two weekends and there can be ball games there in between. But... Um, I think a reasonable request now would go much better than after they plan some things for next year and would have to, uh, you know, renege on some promises. Yep. Okay. I can, I can reach out to them. Just make a note. So we wanted for Sunday the 19th and when you, when's family day? Family day too. Yep. Yeah, sa that's Saturday the twenty fifth. Now Saturday family day. I'm a little nervous because multiple emails to our contact at the P PTO have not been returned. So come September, I'm going to have to go and stand on somebody's doorstep because I just we are assuming they are doing it, but 
I don't have any confirmation from them. I, and that, I mean, I, I would like to be able to, to try to, you know, publicize it at, to someone that here's an opportunity to provide, so to speak, like a, the best birthday party type thing for your child at somebody else's expense, you know, so in, in a sense, that's what it is. It's somebody can put, put together a huge party that kids would have a blast doing all kinds of different events. Mm -hmm. And our 250th committee will, you know, we'll, we'll come up with the money to pay for all these things. And the kids are the, are the winners in this. Right, right. I mean, I thought the PTA would be all over this for just that reason. It you know, allows them to really make it a blast for the kids. And maybe they are, I just have not heard back. But at this point, I can't follow up till September because they've dispersed. Um, any other events, looking over the event schedule, any other events need addressing tonight? Okay, so let me go to the next item on our agenda, which is fundraising. And this is a good news, bad news kind of thing. I'll start with the bad news. The bad news is we don't have anybody to replace Fred as the chair, unless any of you have been successful. Fred approached, who was it, Alan, and who was your other, John? Lee? John LaSalle. Um, neither, neither nibbled at the prospect of taking <laughs> the lead on this. So we, we need to come up with somebody else to drive this train for fundraising. Um, Fred and I have talked about it and you know, we can do organizing stuff in the background, but we need somebody to, to be out there besides right now, all we really have is Teresa and she'll do what is asked of her, but she's not the leader type. So if there's anybody you know that you can twist an arm, we need somebody in that role. Now onto the good news, shortly before this meeting, maybe some of the rest of you got the email from Joe Comerford with her just general update of what's going on in the district. And you know, the headline is we have a budget, that budget includes 10,000 for Waitley. So we did get 10,000 from the state. We just learned that. I don't, we don't know it officially, like nobody's told us, but it's in, it's been announced to the district. Um, so we're starting with a budget of $70,000 because we've gotten 60 from the town over the past three years, plus the 10 from the state, obviously. And, and we'll, either I or Susan will get in touch with Joe's office to figure out what the logistics are of getting that yeah. money. Yeah, exactly. And, and whatever strings are attached. Right. But just the timing could not have been you know, more perfect. It came through mm -hmm. at like 4.30. And there it is, Waitley 10,000. I was very excited. Okay, so unless anybody else has anything on fundraising, uh, Allison is not with us, so we can't really do much on gifts to the town. I have reached out to the Monument Company and have not heard back from them. I need to follow up, it's in my court um, because I didn't hear back from them, but they had been interested initially. Um, what I am envisioning for the bench, because I, I feel like this could become, you know, the, the joke about a camel as a horse built by committee. I think we're not going to be able to, all of us, plus the library board, review the design. My general concept for it, my, my understanding from the monument company is whatever inscription goes on, it has to go perpendicular not but so on the thin the thin edge of the bench if you put it on the flat of the bench it will erode over time so we could put our logo there but it won't last forever if we on the front of the bench put something if you know what i mean by the front of the bench um that will last much longer because it's not hit by the elements my thinking if people agree with this is to put something like the one and only Waitley 1771 to 2021. But I'm open to other ideas. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Um, so, but I'm understanding is you're saying vertical surfaces are better, yeah. but 
like the vertical surface that you might lean back against? It's right. it's a flat bench. It's a flat it bench. Okay. So horizontal surface, we should not put something on, but right. the vertical surfaces, we could put something on. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Just wanted to make sure I understood that. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. So putting it on, if it's a flat bench, no back, um, the bench where you sit won't work either on the lip of where you sit or I suppose on the side things that hold it up, um, but those aren't really gonna be visible. So I, I think we're limited, I'll, I'll talk to the guy, but I think we're limited to you know, a couple of inches tall by four feet wide. You probably got the front and the back though, Susan, right? True, true. Though I think the side that'll be facing the parking lot is the desirable side, yeah. assuming that the benches, you know, essentially facing the parking lot, the library it's parking lot. At the approach. Right. So give that some thought. We don't have to commit to that yet, but that's my proposal is, you know, our line, the one and only Waitley with the dates. Um, possibly on the other side, if it's not cost prohibitive, we could say something like, a gift from the people of Whaley 2021. Something, or something along those lines. So think of that, those are my ideas. I'm open to other ideas. Um, let me know. Keith, question for you. What, I, I'm not even sure how to ask this question. You know, the installation and the surface that it sits on, like the guy was asking, do we need them to provide what it goes on and to install it? Or is that something that your crew can take on? It's certainly something that the, the town could do the prep work if they provided it. What would we need them to provide? I'm at some point I may need you to have a conversation with this guy yeah. because it's just not in my vocabulary. Yeah, I, I can certainly get involved in that aspect of it, sure. Great, thanks. I will pull you in when we are at that point. But to know that the town can can help with that at this point is the information that he needed. Keith, that would probably just be for tunnel tubes, right? I don't believe so, no. No. Uh, probably be a formed foundation for it. And would we, we would need them to give us the foundation, but we would install it or you, you would- No, form I, would, I would have to provide that. Okay, great. I uh, like I, I said, that's easy enough for me to get involved and I'll take care of that. I Thank you, thank you, thank you. At, you know, above my pay grade. Um, any other business? I feel like we're finally, like this is finally happening. We're now talking nuts and bolts. I ask everyone to look over that list that I sent around of events, aside from the fact that I had the wrong dates for the barbecue and the firework, those should be Friday, not Thursday. Um, if your name is listed for something, be aware of it and don't wait for us to tell you to do something um, when it's appropriate for you to pursue whatever you're listed for, go to it and you don't need, you know, need, need anything from us, but come back. To, I shouldn't say you don't need anything from us. Come back to us when you need something from us, if that makes sense. Because I'm not planning on micromanaging all of these events. I think you know, we've, we've got a great group here and people just need to go and do and come back if they need something or if they need money. Um, let us know. Oh, Fred, Anything? I got I got a bill for the, the stickers for the cake. Okay, send it along to me. Uh, uh, sure, I'll be happy to. <laughs> <laughs> yep, his specialty, paying bills. Um, yeah, I'm good at writing checks. No one can read my name anyway, so it's fine. Okay, I'm just checking the chat to see if 
Um, if there's anything there we need to talk about, I think that's everything. Our next, oh, okay. Our next meeting is August 9th. August, you know, we start losing people for vacations. And before we firmly plan that meeting, do we need to have a meeting in August? Are people going to be around for a meeting in August? I'm going to be around. Opinions? Because I'm also not sure that a lot will have happened between now and then, because that's immediately after the ice cream social. We, we could leave it scheduled, and then if uh, when we're working on the agenda, if we feel is not, we can cancel it just before. Instead of posting a meeting, we can cancel it. Yep. Yep. I just wanted to make sure we would have a quorum, or if everybody was <laughs> going to the Cape or something. Um. Suppose we gave a meeting and nobody came. Excellent. I guess that, yeah, with that I say, stay cool, stay dry. <laughs> and we will see you either August 9th or in September, depending no, we'll on see. Happens. We'll see everyone on August 6th for the oh, yes. social. Yeah, definitely. We can see each other in person. Oh, that was the other thing. Sorry, sorry. I. Um, the other thing is the state extended the ability, my understanding is the state ex extended our ability to have Zoom meetings. We also ha could have an in-person meeting with Zoom. So some people are in person and some people are on, on Zoom if we wanted to go that route. But we are allowed to continue with Zoom meetings. At this point, I think it's approved through April. Yeah, I think it's a foreseeable future. My inclination is we, well, my feeling is it would be very difficult to moderate a meeting that is part, some people are in person and some people are on Zoom because we can't all see. On Zoom, you can see everybody. In person, you can see everybody. But if it's half and half, you can't. Oh, fair, yes. Um, yeah, so at, my, at some point we're going to have some good technology in the main meeting room to mitigate that problem. Oh, um, good. Okay. But uh, but I think you're right. It's a little hard with what we have right now. It's not impossible uh, if there's only, especially if there's only one or two people zooming in, or if there's only one or two people. It's kind of a lopsided one. Yeah. Uh, for example, if You've got um, one or two people on Zoom on one screen and everyone else is in the room. You've got one screen with two people or sort of two people take from one place, right? Or mm -hmm. the opposite, if you've got a couple people in person, it's like having a window on your screen with you know, two or three people in it. So it could really go either way, but I think if it's really half and half, it's hard. But um, I don't know when that equipment is coming. Um, I think we're aiming for the end of the summer but I don't know. Okay, that, that's helpful. Until we have that equipment, I would like to say it either has to be in person or via Zoom because it would just be, be hard to manage the other way. Yeah. I'm gonna However, do- However, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be in person, you have to allow Zoom attendance. You can't okay. say nobody can attend by Zoom. Right? Okay. You have to have that a, option available. I wanna do a roll call of preference this is non-binding if, if that's such a thing, but I want to get a sense of do people want to be in person or do people want to continue with Zoom? One, one more point. The, the planning board has had two meetings hybrid and they go pretty smoothly because you can have a laptop set up and it'll show three or four people that are on Zoom. And so the other people can, can see them. Uh, I don't know if they, they probably, well, yeah, what we did is we aimed the camera on the laptop out so that they could see most everybody. And we could have somebody turn it around too. It's, it's not too bad. It's not near as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sort of shy, you know, shy to try that. Let, Don, let pull... Don where, where did you have those meetings? Um, in the meeting, big meeting room. Big meeting room, town offices, okay. And what we did is the table over near the window had the laptop on it 
and then we all sat on the other side of the room. Yeah. Okay. Can I just ask people, ask people their preference for attending or participating in a meeting? Um, if you had to choose, because we, we, we have to figure out the, this, can we do both? If we're only doing one, which should it be? Uh, Don? Meeting. Uh, Sorry, Don, Don. Zoom. <laughs> Don, Zoom. Fred? Uh, Zoom. John, you also said Zoom? Meeting. Meeting, okay. So two, zo okay, meeting. Joyce? Um, I'd say Zoom, especially if it's August, I'll be out of town, but you can't make it only in person. Right, okay? no, I understood. If you're in person, you have to have the Zoom option, okay? Just understood. Just be clear. Yeah, understood. I'm trying to see if there's enough demand for an in-person meeting. Uh, so Joyce, you said Zoom for the for August. Beyond that, do you have a preference? No. Okay. Adelia? In person. Ashley, uh, I'm losing my, people are moving around on my list, which is driving me crazy. <laughs> Ashley? I have a preference for in person, but um, I can do either. That's okay. Uh, Brenda? I have an in-person preference, uh, but August definitely Zoom. Okay. Um, who didn't I get to? Chip? I do Zoom one more time in August. If I can clarify myself, Zoom, I'm talking about Zoom for August. Beyond that, I'd like to go in person, especially as we start getting reports back from people running events. Handouts and stuff. Okay. Uh, that'd be better to have those in person. Okay, Keith? I agree, let's try to do in person maybe come September, but keep it Zoom for the next month. Okay, and Lisa? I agree with that. Okay, okay, so consensus seems to be August is Zoom, September we'll try to do hybrid? Yep. And yeah. anybody here different among I don't know if I'm following September. Robert's rules of order here, but I'm trying to come up with what works for the group. What's okay. the date for September, Susan? I'm sorry? What's the date for September? Ooh, that is a good question. I, mean, I can put it, I'm putting it in the meeting minutes. So. 13th. Oh, thank you. 13th. Thank you. Um, Chris, I don't think you yeah, and I know that the Uppams would rather would come in person, but would not participate via Zoom. I, I talked to Bob. Um, excellent. Any other business? Uh, yeah, one other thing on the schedule: should we get a, make a contact back to the Snowmobile Club for whatever they're going to do? Presumably not in June. <laughs> Because they, they had come in last year, two years ago, whenever it was. Yeah, we had talked about having sort of a winter festival with them around, planned around when the school did, uh, there's a pancake breakfast, something like that, and com combining the two events. Now, I don't know if a pancake breakfast is likely to happen in a world of COVID, who knows what next winter will look like, but we certainly can reach out to the snowmobile club. Yeah, I think see. they'd still probably like to do something, so we should reach out to them. I can do that. Okay. Everybody has their marching orders? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Uh, do I have to do a roll call for that too? Mm. Okay, Keith. Yes. Me, yes. John. Yes. Brenda. Yes. Fred. Yes. Don. Yes. Lisa. <coughs> I think Don and John answered for each other. Lisa, <laughs> did you answer? Yes. Joyce. Yes. Chip, Ashley, I'm yeah. oh, sorry, Chip. Yep. Ashley. Yes. 
Did I miss anybody? Because you keep moving on my screen. See, that, that is a reason for doing it in person. Did I get you, Adelia? I said yes. Okay. That's a reason for doing it in person. Unless you guys all jump up while I'm doing roll calls and switch seats just to drive me crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what it, Joyce likes that idea. <laughs> if you have people, you know, do this, it's faster for you just to see them jump on the screen. The rule is we have to do a roll call. I don't know if that counts as a roll call, but anyway, we are officially adjourned. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks. Thanks. Hit the leave button. We don't have to have that vote, right? <laughs> <laughs>